So weight loss programs are not really the thing that I'm best known for. But if you've been one of my clients or you've followed me on social media for a while, you'll know that I'm extremely passionate about the health and well-being of individuals and families. And something we all know but don't necessarily follow through with is that your physical and mental health are intimately linked. And I've found over the years that I can't entirely help my clients to achieve psychological well-being if I don't also address their diet and lifestyle. Now, when most people want to sort out their health, they go on a diet. And just that word diet can bring up feelings of dread and failure. But we are using that word incorrectly. So when you think of an animal's diet, you don't think of a lion or an elephant or a rabbit running around the bush counting calories and checking themselves on the scale every day. No. When we speak about any other animal than the human one, we use diet to refer to the animal's natural food choices, what the animal would eat in the wild to stay healthy. For example, an elephant in the zoo fed an incorrect diet will die within two to five years, whereas an elephant in the wild eating its natural diet will live for up to 70 years. We are no different. In one study of the Khoisan people, they found two tribes living nearby. The one tribe was eating how they always had, they were hunting and gathering. The other tribe had the influence of missionaries who had taught them farming. And within one generation, they had all of our Western diseases. And that's just the introduction of farming. That's not alcohol or cigarettes or caffeine or any of the other vices that we've added to our diet over the years, just farming. And that shows you the impact of dietary changes on our health and well-being. And if we're eating incorrectly for our species, then we not only put on excessive amounts of weight, but we also put ourselves at risk for heart disease, for diabetes, for autoimmune diseases, as well as all those mental health issues like depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, autism, ADHD. So what is the human diet? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to be covering in my new program, New Mom, New Body, New Mind. In this program, I'm going to take you step by step through changing over to the human diet, along with psychological exercises and tips that will help you to overcome any subconscious blocks to success. This is your chance to lose that baby weight, increase your energy levels, decrease any physical ailments that have been plaguing you. This is how to have the kind of health that you need to get the most out of your life and out of your family. And I promise I won't have you running around in animal skins with bows and arrows or counting calories. So if you're interested in losing weight or stabilizing your mood or just in experiencing optimal health, join me for New Mom, New Body, New Mind and take yourself and your family to the next level. You can find out details about my next course by following the link below this video. I look forward to seeing you there.